Alright everyone, this is really exciting. This was the first Dominion toy I laid my eyes on. Um, and then obviously I bought all the LEGO Jurassic World Dominion sets in the same store afterwards. But I want to review this guy first because I have not seen an actual review on any channel of it. It's pretty, uh, <laughs> I'd say exclusive I guess. But yes, this is like the Giga Notosaurus. So Imagine X. It will probably be the only Imaginex toy I buy, to be entirely honest, just because of how exclusive it is. I've only heard of it being found on in Western Australia, and I live on the east side of uh, Australia. So, oh wait, no. No, it was found on the eastern side of uh, Australia, yes. So I think this is probably only in my country, which is extremely awesome, which would be Victoria, the home of Kulasukas. But it does make noises. And it lights up, so hang on. If I close my curtains, I might be able to show you like an even like a bioluminescent giga. <laughs> okay, so I have to switch to my room light right here. So, giga. Oh, there you go. Very cool. Light up eyes. Oh, it's stomping. Yeah. <laughs> this is really cool. I mean, like, sure, it's a kid's toy, but it's a Jurassic World Dominion toy, the Giga. My, this is my first Jurassic World Dominion toy, besides the Legos, which I will do a video on. But, um, this is just so awesome. <laughs> so, it is, like, got the movable legs and stuff, so you can pose it. Let me just put this down. That was a cool roar. That was a cool roar. Oh my god. Yeah, that was awesome. Oh, so when you move the legs, the... Oh no, I just was accidentally pressing the button. So, you can open the mouth, obviously, and close it. It's got a tongue, which is cool. And you can move the arms. Obviously, this is the voice box right here. And yeah, it's got like... <laughs> this is meant to be spikes, but... Probably because it's a kid toy, they didn't want to make it spiky, so it's a kind of more like a spino set. But uh, I will not be uh, clickbaiting you all, just let it be known, it is a Giganotosaurus, as the back of the box does say, Julux Growling Giga, Giganotosaurus, excellent title. But they haven't called it Giganotosaurus, I don't know, what is it, because the kids are... Uh, are they are the kids going to say Giga Notosaurus or are they going to say Giga? They'll probably say Giga. So this is the cool box art. Quite like this. Look at the forest. Is that the? Will that be the Biosyn facility? That's pretty cool if it is. And uh, yeah, then that's obviously the back of the box as I showed before. So this is. I like that forest area. I reckon there'll be Biosyn area. And uh, yeah, this is a very cool toy. There are like instruction manual for it. Uh, is there anything special in here? Like any extra toys we can buy? I doubt it. I, yeah. Um, yeah, there's not much. But it's very awesome. Technically my first Dominion toy. Because it, it was the only one they had in the store. However, I asked them, uh, hey, your website says you have uh, the... Lego Jurassic World sets in stock. And so I asked them, I was giving them the numbers, and they were like, yeah, we have 18 of this set, 12 of that set. I'm like, oh my god. So yeah, they had all sets except the Giganotosaurus and Therizinosaurus set. Now, I didn't buy the Pyraptor and Nezutoceratops set because uh, I already pre-ordered that on Lego, so I'd just be wasting my money, considering they'll be coming in, what, about a week's time. Uh, just over 10 days, maybe, I think, about that. So, I was like, you know, we'll get a Giga toy for now. It'll be the Imagine Next one. Imagine Next one. And yeah, I really like it. I mean, sure, it's for ages 3 to 8, but uh, I quite like it. It's an exclusive toy. This is the first review of it, I believe. Proceed. I knew I was going to get something exclusive in Australia. I've been waiting. I've been riding trains all across Victoria. I've been to, like, multiple suburbs. I reckon, like, four five different shopping centers 
didn't find anything until today when I was notified that um, Australia Kmart has the LEGO GS World sets on their website. So obviously I rushed over there today and got to that. So I just wanted to cut in because I realized I didn't really compare this thing to any thing else before I ended the video because I don't have other Imaginex toys obviously but uh can still compare it to the Mattel so this is actually like speaking of green things with sails we got the Aranosaurus right next to it so that's pretty cool and then got the Scorpius Rex can you press the button for us Scorpius where's the yes no yes go for it Scorpius <laughs> Scorpius Rex versus Giga. You saw it here first. Um, the Dominion Giga, obviously, not just any random Giga. <laughs> there you go. And we, of course, have our other uh, non posable Scorpius, but the one that makes the sound. Yeah, we can compare the Scorpius roll with the Giga roll, so that's cool. Very, like, it's just beyond cool. Just the fact I've got all of this in my possession now. I wasn't expecting anything until April 17th, 14th, honestly. And it's like 10 days before that. So, like, oh, I'm a happy boy. Hang on, can we line up the camera so that we can get them to roar at each Giga versus Scorpius Rex roar off right here, right now. Are you ready for it, you guys? Wait for the stomping roar to be over, because that's like not really a roar. So the Scorpius is way louder than this. I assume it's because, like, that's an awesome roar, can I just say? Like, I've, we're going to end the video off with that roar. But, um, just like, oh, wow. You can really hear the, oh, it, it's just awesome. If you get what I mean, like, oh, my God. But yeah, Scorpius is way louder. I assume it's because Mattel knows collectors will be collecting it, whereas more kids will be collecting this toy. And, like, I assume, like, like, if you're an adult and you're playing with this, you can do whatever you want. But if you're a kid, you don't really want to annoy the parents as much. So, not as loud. But Scorpius is like, and just screams. So, like, I mean, it would be cool if they were the same sound, uh, volume, because we could just have an epic roar. Because you can't really hear the Giga too much when roaring against each other. And that's the roar. That's the roar I love. Wow. From a kid's toy. I'm just amazed at a kid's toy. Three to eight years old is the recommendation. But uh, here I am, 17-year-old, <laughs> turning 18, and I love it a lot. Wow, wow, and wow. Back to the video. But yeah, that'll be have to be about it for the video. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye, everyone. That's so awesome. <laughs>